Hello, it's uh, Bini here. Today is again STI index and either one stock, either one instrument that I'm trading or one technique that I like to share with you. And today I like to share with you um, probably a new instrument or something that you have uh, heard of and that's futures. All right, so um, what I'll be sharing would be on Simsky, Singapore Free Index Futures, and then uh, how I use the Singapore Free Index Futures to analyze together with the STI. Uh, and if you are interested, then you might want to consider the course I'm doing with uh, IBF, which is the International Banking and Finance of Singapore. And that is a highly uh, sponsored course if you are Singapore citizens or uh, Singapore PR. Okay, so let's take a look into STI today. Okay, so uh, you know, this is STI and it's up like about 23 points uh, today, right? And it's uh, staying above 3001, all right? So, uh, I've discussed also how you should be evaluating whether the price is at a high or low. Alright, so for example, if you take a look at relativity, so the price has fallen from the high to the low um, by about, uh, let's give it a look, right? So that's about uh, 11%, okay, 11 point, or rather uh, roughly about 12%. So therefore, if you compare to a high that you might um, uh, you know, be, be trading here at about 3,450. Then the price here at 3,100 seems to be like a discount because it has actually fallen by 11%. However, if you want to put this into perspective, that means everything into perspective, then we can be drawing in uh, certain lines, okay? And that's where, you know, things like trend lines come in. Okay, so, so if you look at SCI, yes, it is near to... A long-term trend line because I'm right now at the weekly chart, so it's actually near to a long-term trend line. If I if I were to choose this point here, which is like a turning point, so let me just turn on the line chart to show you that this it's this was a turning point here, a turning point here. So this, all right, uh, resemble a turning point, a turning point, a turning point, right? So if you see these as a historical past turning points. All right, and you wish to, you know, sort of say that if this was the low, that means that this was the low point, the low point. The question is that, uh, you know, will this be a low point? Okay, so that's the your that's your question, your question, right? Uh, and that's also many people's question. So the way to do it is to potentially draw a line across all this low point, meaning that you know because previously. Uh, this low point serve as a uh, low point for people to buy in, right? Because it makes sense. If you buy the low point, you will probably be making money. So if you can draw a line across or near to this low point here, then you will be actually predicting whether this point, the current point, is actually a low point, all right? Because you are not going to draw a line near to the high point to predict a low. So you will say that, okay, if previously was a low point and a low point and a low point, let me just connect all the low points together to see whether price is near to a low. And if it is, then yes. Okay, so that's that's a line that you can draw. Uh, and then we, we call this line a trend line. So it can be very difficult, uh, but essentially we are just taking all the historical low to predict whether currently it's a current low. Okay, or potentially might be at a low point, right? You can see that, for example, the line that I've drawn by connecting all the low points and the low point and the low points happen to point to you the current price is also at a low point. So you can easily get your trend line easily, easily, all right, without, uh, uh, you know, doing a lot of uh, things, okay, because you just have to answer. Am I connecting the low to the low to predict the low? Okay, likewise, you know, let's say I want to predict somewhere, uh, you know, at the high point, right? And whether it's at the high point, right? So I'll be actually connecting the high to the high to the high. So for example, this was a high point, okay? And then this was a high point, and then this was another high point, right? So I can choose to connect this point to this point here. Okay, when I do that, you realize that it doesn't really help because then it's just cut through some of the points. So what I can do is I can just shift it slightly higher so that it can give me this line here then you know, that connects the extreme high to the high, and then I'm just going to get a line here. All right, so that's that's pretty much easy. Now, then uh, if STI is happening in this manner, potentially we might have this expanding, uh, you know, triangular pattern here. So we might have a triangular pattern like a, a wedge, all right? 
Um, but in any case, if you look at just purely the current level, the SDI is hovering, which is the low to the low. See, so yeah, that's the. Low. I'm just made a bit of adjustment. Okay, the low to the low. Then we can sort of like co conclude that STI is near to the low point, right? It's near to the low of the support level. Um, unless that price is to break below the support level, which is around three thousand and. 50 plus minus around there uh, then I'm expecting that the current level is a support okay now sometimes when we analyze we need to move to the nearer uh, price level okay nearer price level and nearest price points right so for example at the nearest price point I can see that there's a you know that low point here right so we can see this is like a low let me just draw that a low point here and a high point here and a high point here all right and then I can see a bit of a high here. So how can I see all this easy? You know, what you can do is one tip that I always, always share with you guys is to switch that into a line chart. When you switch that into a line chart, you can see all these turning points really very well and easily. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of the lines to draw. Okay, then one of the tools I like to use, and I've shared this uh, in one of the videos, which is to use the equidistance channel. Right, I'm just going to, at this point, uh, show you uh, where you can view the equidistance channel uh, video, so you can actually go and watch it again. Right, so take the equidistance channel tool. Right, realize that these are the two high points that has already been formed. Okay, you see that? Two high points, right? So these are connecting the high to the high. So I'm just going to predict, right, how high price can go. Now, if I can take this equidistance channel, which is a parallel line that is to the first line that I've, I'm, I've drawn, all right, and map it to the low points, okay, and any of the low points here, perhaps that I'm able to get some inputs here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch that into a candlestick chart and then draw the lines properly. Okay, so I'm just going to take that equidistance channel again, take this to the high point, to the high point like this, okay, and then just map it low, low to the lowest point here, all right, that you can see, all right. Now you can see that with this technique, that STR is actually near to a upsloping line, okay, we call this a trend line, and as well as at the low of a equidistance channel. Okay, I, I explained the concept of equidistance channel before, all right, and you again want to go and view that video, all right? So I'm just insert in that um, uh, write up, okay, at the bottom, okay? Now, uh, what is the implication here? So if you have gotten the levels, which are potentially the low of the equidistance channel and the low of this trend line, then we want to find for some signs, okay, to tell us whether, uh, you know, price is reversing. So what are the signs I'm looking out for? There are a few things, okay. One, I could just go into the STI to go and look for a trigger. That means look for a uh, the tipping point where price might be reversing. Okay, now one of the more common ways, or rather one of the ways I'm also doing, is to also refer to the futures. Okay, meaning that to the SIMSKI, which is Singapore MSCI Singapore Free Index futures. Now, the futures sort of lead the cash market, which is um, the, the stock market. Alright, so a lot of times we are able to see certain movement from the futures market. And then after that, when we come back into the cash market, we sort of understand, oh yeah, uh, price is going to move in this manner here. So it's very useful if you can just look into the futures market as well, especially, you know, if you are doing STI, then you want to look into Simski. All right, so let me just show you the chart into Simski. All right, so this is uh, Simski here. So this is a chart on Simski, right? Uh, you can see, for example, in Simski right now, uh, the, the price is a little bit different, right? But, uh, you know, uh, it just gives you a bit of an idea, you know, what Simsky is all about. Uh, for example, right now the price is near to a previous low. Okay, so it's a little bit different from STI uh, in terms of how it looks because in Simsky there's an inclusion of two uh, stocks that's listed in the US exchange. Uh, however, uh, 80 plus percent of the uh, weightage of the Simsky index comes from the STI component stocks, right? So it's quite a high correlation to the movement of STI, all right? So if you take a look at the low here, so Simsky is actually at the low, all right? And uh, we sort of deduce that there's a little bit of support, all right? 
Uh, and uh, what I always do is that when I trade into Simsky, it's always to use the day time frame and then to move inside the uh, lower time frame as a reference. Okay. Uh, or rather, the day time frame as a reference, the, the lower time frame, which is the one hour as the trigger time frame. All right. So, um, Simsky is sort of telling us that there was a low here. All right. And then price of. Um, move beyond too much, excessively below the low, and it's actually recovering. I call this a wash and means phenomena, right? So uh, we are probably deducing from CMC that STI has probably found a bit of a support and uh, should could be uh, staging a short-term rebound. Okay, of course, then we can go into the lower time frame to inspect into STI. All right, so uh, so far. All right, uh, this is how I analyze every morning. So any of the morning, I would uh, do a video for uh, the students who took the IBF course uh, and um, who, uh, you, know, uh, you know, are trading the Simsky. I would launch a morning video or a morning chart to guide them for uh, the, the, the day on how they want to trade. And I do that actually uh, every day, okay, except that, you know, Christmas Day or except that um, on, on MC, Oh, I'm on holiday. Okay, it's actually every day. All right. So, um, uh, and uh, if you like to take the course, I'm just gonna briefly talk about the course, All right? Because I think that you know, if you are Singapore uh, citizens and especially you know, forty and above, um, the subsidies is actually very wonderful, right? And it's not easy uh, to have uh, the course being approved by IBF because the the quality standard, the course quality standard, is actually very high. Uh, so to be able to take a course from from my BF right on a f on on this funding, uh, the quality is it says a lot uh, about it as well. Okay, so let's take a look into the course. All right, uh, so if you are Singaporeans four years and above, you actually pay one hundred eighty. Right, so uh, I will leave you to read more about this one here. I won't uh, talk more about it uh, because I thought that you know with this course, it's really a very comprehensive course. And, uh, you know, it's entitlement of uh, Singapore citizens because then uh, you are, uh, you know, able to get into this uh, funding under this uh, standard training scheme, IBF STS funding. All right. And you do get, uh, you know, a, a certifications of your technical analysis skills, all right, which is proficiency level four. All right. So that's a very high, uh, you know, proficiency level. Right, so uh, I will leave it to you to go read about it. It says that rather than to get bits and pieces of the analysis or techniques or education, you may as well take one full course that gives you uh, that everything inside and as well as uh, the support.